nice to see you to see you nice and it's pretty unfortunate we've lost another legend in entertainment Bruce Forsyth or should I say Sir Bruce Forsyth and I've got the t-shirt nice to see you to see you nice this was an old birthday present um, years, years ago I've had quite this years ago yeah so we've lost, lost another legend a great entertainer um, I remember him like during the 1980s when I started to know him um, well not personally watching the telly um, when I was a youngster a really young kid um, first thing I remembered was play your cards right um, when he did play your cards right during the 80s um, early 80s that started I think I don't know when it started but that was good you know old Brucey yeah nice to see you to see you nice and all these catchphrases all these catchphrases um, uh, I am the leader of the pack that makes me such a lucky jack Okay, Donnie's do your dealing. Yeah. yeah, you can't get away with nothing like that now, right? Can you? Okay. Nah, we. He was brilliant. Um, I know he did the Generation game in the seventies. I think he started that in the seventies, but I was too young to remember. When I remembered the Generation game, um, that was Larry Grayson, I think. Um, who should that do? Should that do? the fuck was all that about? Shut that do. Shut that do. the fuck? That was a catchphrase. Oh, I'd like to fucking shut the door in his face, yeah, but who shut that do. Shut that do. Nah. I don't know. Uh, I think people did like him, but I don't know. I was too young at the time to remember him, so I, I just remember the show when he was doing it, and I remember that stupid catchphrase. Oh, shut that do. Shut that do. Yeah, um... I remember um, Brucey, he did, he did You Bet, I don't know if you remember that one, You Bet, um, sort of like challenging program, um, Matthew Kennedy, Kelly, Matthew Kelly took it over, um, but did you know, he did a sitcom, a television comedy, and I've got it, Slinger's Day, um, took over from... Um, Leonard Rossiter when he did Tripper's Day. This was the original series, only one series of that. Then I think it was 84, maybe 84, I'm only guessing. It says on there, but I can't, so small I can't see it. Um, um, so he did two series of this. Basically, he was a manager of a supermarket. I thought it was quite good. I remember watching it back in the 80s, I quite liked it. Um, yeah, so that was good. Definitely, if, you, if you've got the chance, check it out. Um, if you remember it, probably you won't, but you know, no, you might remember it. I thought it was good. Um, uh, what else did he do? He did, um, I know he done a lot of things. I know he brought back, um, the, in the 90s, he brought back Play Your Cards Right and um, the Generation Game. I think that might have been the late 80s. He brought that, he took over from maybe Larry Grace and he brought the show back. And then um, Jim Davidson took uh, took over from Brucey. Um, I thought he was quite good at that, Brucey. I even thought Jim Davidson was quite good at it. But you can't beat Brucey. You can't beat Brucey at it. It's like someone taking over from Play Your Cards. Well, no, that's Brucey's show. That was Brucey's show. Like, no one can take that away from Brucey. That was his show. When he did The Price is Right, or Brucey's Price is Right, rather, I did prefer Leslie Crowther doing it. That Leslie Crowther doing The Price is Right was absolutely fantastic. He was brilliant at that. No one could take that away from him. He was the best. Um, he did his own come on downs. I don't think no one else did that. Not even, I know a lot of these game shows originated from the United States. Um, same with The Price is Right. That one did. Price is, um, Pay Your Cards Right did. That was, I think it was called Card Sharks in America. Um, Family Fortunes, that was another one that came from America, that was called Family Feud. I know a lot of them did. I don't think 321 did. Remember that? 321. 321. 321. Ted Rogers, he was great at that, Ted Rogers. Um, yeah, it's like, no, no one could replace um, 
Leslie Crowther. No, he was he was absolutely he aced that. He aced it. Brilliant. Um, yes, yeah, so, I, I mean he was still good. Bruce's price is right, but it just wasn't as good as um, Leslie Crowther's one, the proper one. I mean that was about an hour long. Bruce's was only half hour long. So there's a lot of cut downs in um, Bruce's one. Um, never saw it. I don't know. I think it went to Sky after that. I ain't seen it. Bother. Um, yeah, you bet was another one. I think I mentioned that. Um, Generation. I, I, I was not ever into Strictly Come Dancing. I could never ever get into that. I'm not one to what for watching dancing programs. I know a lot of people did watch it, but it just wasn't for me. I just could not get into it. Um, so, to me, no, nah, I didn't like it. Just couldn't. It's not my sort of program to watch. Dancing programs, um, but everything else he's done, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, it definitely will be missed in entertainment. What you know, he will go down as a legend. You know, we've we've lost a lot in 2017 already. Like we did lose a lot in 2016 and uh, the end of 2015. We lost. So many of the icons in entertainment, you know, which is a shame, you know, we grew, you know, personally me and people about my, grew up with these people, you know, grew up, you know, it was great, you know, watching them, making you laugh, making you smile, and I think a lot of entertaining, long entertainment programs lack that these days, I know TV just don't appeal to me anymore, it's, it's all about restriction, you can't say this, you can't say that, it's just pathetic. It's about entertainment, having a laugh. Okay, it wasn't swearing or nothing like that. Innuendo, maybe a little bit, just a weeny bit of innuendo, but it wasn't much, you know, it wasn't much, you know, you go a little child down there, they ain't gonna get it. Like I didn't get it when I was young. You know, people laugh, you know, it didn't matter. Things are just too serious these days. That's why TV is absolute crap. Ignore that. Um, but Brucey was the master. He was the master of entertainment. I mean, there was a lot of greats. We've had a lot of greats. Um, Bob Monkhouse was another one. It made me laugh. He did some great stuff. Celebrity Squares. Um, what's the other one? Oh, I did a game of it the other day. Um, Bob's Full House. Bob's Full House. He did something called Gag Tag and all. I don't know what ever happened to that, but that was quite good. Um, yeah, old Bob. It's like Bob Honus of Blockbusters. You could not replace Bob Holness doing Blockbusters. He was the best. He was the best at Blockbusters. Okay, Michael Aspel took over, but no, you could not beat Bob Holness at Blockbusters. He was the best. You know, I think every, everyone had their own game shows, and that was absolutely great at doing it. Someone else took over. It just wasn't as good. Um, yeah, so, yeah, Brucey will be missed by many, many people. Young, old, you know, everyone will always remember Bruce Forsyth, especially his uh, catchphrase. Nice to see you, to see you, nice. You know, people will miss that, you know. It's a shame. It is a shame. We've lost another legend. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.